So in this video, I just want to cover quickly how to make an alias in a bash prompt. Um, this will work over SSH in general, although you'll obviously have to do that over on the remote computer. Um, so basically, uh, let's say that I want to alias clear. I find typing clear too complicated. I want to type C and have that clear the screen. All right, let's put some more junk on there. How would we do that? Well, we can actually just type in, in the bash prompt itself, alias equals, sorry, alias C equals clear. And that'll create the basic alias for us. Now, if we type C, it'll clear. What's the problem is if we create a new shell, and we'll increase the size of that, C doesn't do anything. And that's because we just created that alias for this, this session only. So here it works again. but there, it doesn't work in the new ones. So what we need to do is actually um, create this alias in a permanent place. And you wanna do that in a bash RC or dash, um, or bash profile file. I mean, I've got a dot, dot bash RC here um, that I've already got stuff in. Um, and so if I sudo nano uh, tilde dot bash RC, your bash RC is almost always going to be in your user directory, and it's going to be called dot bash RC. Um, then I'm just going to password, and now I can edit my aliases. So let's go ahead and write that same syntax: alias c equals clear down here, and then we'll write out this file and we'll exit. Now in this one, we know it's already um, it's it's bogus because we've got the alias load. So we'll open this one. It's not working. Why is it not working? Because this session didn't load our bash RC file. So what we need to actually do is close this window and then get a new terminal open because that'll have loaded with the current bash RC profile. And so there, if I type C, then it's all set. I'm sorry, I'm not making it strong. So because this new window that I just opened has my bash RC loaded, now C works here. And if I create a new window one last time just to prove the point, this one too will let me clear with C. So that's how you create a bash alias and some of the general problems that'll occur as you do that.